Hello there everyone, welcome back to this tutorial series. In this uh, episode, I'm going to show you how you can install Bitwarden on your Google Chrome browser as an extension. So to get started, open your Google Chrome browser and then on the search bar, just search for Bitwarden Password Manager. Then on the results that come, make sure you select the results that point to bitwarden.com. This is their official website. Click on this link. And then on this landing page, right at the top here, click on the download link, scroll downwards until you see this section with the title web browser then there is this option of google chrome click on it because that's the current browser that we are using once you click on it it will open uh, the google chrome web store it will show you the bitwarden extension page and then from this page you can see it shows you the details of this extension down here there are screenshots of the extension how it works and how it will appear roughly on your machine and then at the bottom here we have a description of what the extension does and you can also read about the privacy policy and you can contact the guys who maintain the plugin so if you go up here just click on add to chrome chrome will show you this pop-up this one then it will briefly show you what this plugin does like it can read and change all your data on the websites that you visit and it can read and modify your data so in short what this means is that Bitwarden will be able to read the passwords and the usernames that you enter in uh, the pages that you visit and also it can be able to autofill input fields in your pages so that you can just click on an entry and then it will fill the password for you so just click on add extension and then wait until chrome downloads the extension once it downloads the extension it will bring up another pop-up and at the same time it will open a new tab the landing page for the extension so thank you again for watching that's how we add bitwarden to google chrome browser stay tuned for more insight on how we'll use this plugin in the coming tutorials see you soon